Viewers, yesterday Turkish and Greek foreign ministries exchanged very harsh words, statements issued by both the ministries and these ministries of Turkey and Greece, they condemned each other. Uh, this exchange of harsh words occurred over the issue of the conversion of uh, Ayah Sophia yesterday. Uh, it was the first time that Friday prayers was held there. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, he also went there and a huge crowd there. And after that, uh, we saw that this exchange of harsh words between Turkish and Greek foreign ministries. Turkish foreign ministry said that the statement of uh, Greek foreign ministry showed enmity of Greece towards Muslims and Islam. And Greek foreign ministry said that Turkey was pursuing a policy of religious and nationalistic fanaticism. So very harsh words from both the sides viewers. On the other hand viewers, Orich Reis, Turkey's exploration ship, it is still moored in Antalya, no signs of the movement of Orich Reis, uh, though almost a week is remaining because Turkey's Navtex, uh, it was from 21st of July to 2nd of August. So almost a week uh, is still remaining. Will Orich Reis move towards the waters of Castello Rizzo or not? Uh, that is the question. Some analysts are saying that this Turkish Navtex uh, in, in, in the waters around Castello Rezo, it can become Turkey's Sirat Offensive. They say that just like Turkey announced Sirat Offensive in Libya, but because of the growing international pressure, growing pressure from Egypt, from Russia, Turkey has not been able so far to launch this Sirat Offensive. And these analysts are saying that uh, Turkey's uh, Navtex uh, near Castello Rizzo, they can also become an other uh, Sirat offensive in the Eastern Mediterranean. Let's see viewers what happens. But so far, no signs of uh, the departure of Orich Reis from uh, Antalya port towards Castello Rizzo. Thank you for watching.